All right, what's going on, YouTube and Gunpla fans? This is another video from your favorite builder, Oh My Wings, with another video. And sorry, it's been so long since I haven't posted in the last two weeks. Been super, super busy, and um, yeah, I haven't had any really time to make any videos. But I thought it'd be good to make a video for the 2021 builds. And I know I did start off doing the Gundam Breaker Battle Log kits. That was kind of like you know how I basically started building a community on YouTube. So why not do a top six builds? Uh, what was my favorite? Obviously, number one being the best and number six being the worst. But overall, just to be clear, I enjoyed all these kits. But if I had to do a ranking system, this would probably be the best way to do it. So, let's get on to it. Oh my. Now, coming at number six, going to have to give it to the Blazing Gundam. I wasn't a fan of this, um, even though, you know, it was a fun build. Don't get me wrong. And, of course, painting it all gold at the yellow parts because I didn't like the yellow but besides that, it wasn't one of my favorites at all. I thought it was too very bland. It was pretty boring. I didn't have fun with it. I mean, it was fun, but I didn't really enjoy it as much as I all the other kids. So I'm going to have to put this in top six, uh, I guess number six to be exact. And I don't know. I just saw, no saw nothing appealing about it, to be honest. I mean, besides the gold foot here, um, the, I guess, small details of the God Gundam hands, the mask, I guess, the COVID mask. But overall, I just wasn't a fan. Didn't really like it. So not much to say about it. Definitely going to put this on the um, rank six on this one. This would be for number five of the Barbatoris. Now, before you scold me at this, uh, I know, I know it's a cool design. Great gimmick. I get it. It's a centaur. But honestly, it wasn't that great. Like, overall, it was a cool idea. Great posing in terms of, you know, like if you go like this, the posing's there. But some of the parts were super loose because it was based off the old uh, high-grade Barb uh, Barbados. So, as you can see, the tail is super loose. comes off really quickly. The posing wasn't that great. Um, I, it, it just had some weird, awkward poses. Um, it just felt small. It didn't feel like, you know, it didn't feel like a really epic kit. It just felt really kind of bland for some reason uh the posing was not that great but the idea you know i get it the gimmick with the you know the centaur was cool so i'll give him that one the coloring is great um looks pretty cool and i know in my other video i probably said it was amazing but overall if i had to put it on the list it would definitely be number five so it wasn't really my favorite from the uh in terms of the spot this is going to be going to number four to the live lance heaven now this one was a huge surprise I actually didn't think this was going to be, you know, even on the top four or in general, I didn't think I was going to like this build, but I really enjoyed it. This was a really fun build. I like the gimmicks for it. I like the posing. I like the looks. Um, the coloring was amazing. As you can see, the little bit of gold, but I painted this myself. Um, the glitter blue right there on the lance and as well as just opposing articulation was pretty much on point. It really showed a lot. It was kind of like, you know, kind of had like that God pose, you know, it was like epic pose. So I really enjoy this one. This definitely deserves on the top four. But if I had to say an issue why it was top four is one thing is the hand super loose. The ball joints for the hand is not that great. So I definitely be careful of this one. As you can see how loose it is just holding on to the live lance. I don't know if it's because I'm actually putting another hand there or anything like that. But overall, it was a great kit. So this definitely uh, is for the number four spot. Now for number three, this goes to the Perfect Strike Gundam. Now, of course, overall, ugh. So anyways, this goes to the Perfect Strike Gundam. This one was really cool. I really liked the articulation and as well as the posing ability. And I liked how up to date it was. I think this is based off the Strike Gundam revive. So this was really nice. Um, it had a really cool custom idea of the Dragoons matching with the Perfect Strike backpack and the Perfect Strike weapons here. And as this little gimmick here from the Perfect Strike. But the problem was I didn't like the body. The body had too much of a Strike Gundam rather than more of the Strike Freedom. Um, so that was a big issue. But overall, the weapons, articulation, and all that was really nice. So this definitely goes to the number three spot. So number two spot goes to the Helios Gundam. The Helios was pretty freaking awesome. Um, obviously, I'm being a little biased because I am a fan of the Destiny. But if you're not a fan of Destiny, this also comes with the double X and as well as the Freedom Gundam Wings. But overall, I really liked it. This was a great custom, and this was something that I was hoping it would become a model kit. 
uh, having the Destiny or the Helios or the Arios or any of the other ones they did in the past for the Battle Log uh, series. Um, this was super unique. I really liked it. Now, one thing I didn't like was the ball joint inside, so the ball joint made it super loose. But luckily, I was able to find the Barbados poly polycap for some reason that actually worked better. I don't know why, but it did. But thank you for the comments. I believe someone mentioned that in the comments, so that was very helpful. Um, but overall, this was a really unique one. The coloring is great. I love the teal as well as the blue and white. So this definitely stood out a lot. And if you're looking for someone with like awesome cannons, this is definitely the kit for you. As you can see, it has two twin cans at the back. And of course, it has cannons here. But I wish it did come with the uh, Destiny Blast, which I forgot how to say it. But I wish it had that so it can be blasted on there. That would have been a really cool gimmick. But overall, I really enjoyed it. This definitely deserves the number two spot. And last but not least, number one goes to the Command Quanta. The Command Quanta was really perfect in every single way. And I'm actually surprised on how they made this work because this is based off the uh, double O Quanta and the double O Quanta HD is okay, but they were able to make this work and it looks fantastic. The weapons is a great set. Now, if you look at this gun, you don't normally see this gun any of the model kits, so this was really unique. Of course, having the missiles here was really really cool. Um, having the sword in the back is nice. The coloring, the dark green, the can kind of like the army colors, which is really nice. Overall, the posability is great. Um, if you want to get some posing in, it works very well. It stands by itself overall. But yeah, I'm going to have to say this goes to my top one. Uh, number one spot goes to the Command Quanta. Great, great kit. Um, this was super awesome. And I'm very, very proud to say that. And overall, this was a great kit out of the Battle Log uh, Wave 1. So I will be doing a Wave 2 pretty soon. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, and if you want to watch more of my stuff, I do have Twitch as well. You can watch me on Sunday, Mondays, and Thursdays, and Fridays as well. We do building, we play PS2, and Valorant a lot of times as well. So you can join us there. I'll put the link below. And if this is something you enjoyed, you want to see more content, please like and subscribe below. And see you guys in the next video. Bye!